Hi everyone, finally back with another update. I've uh, been so busy of late, but fortunately I was able to find some time to work on updating the bases for these figures here. This has been something I've been wanting to do for uh, quite some time now, because uh, the previous versions were ones I did very early on when I was still learning the process. And it's been long overdue for something a little nicer. Uh, and this was also an, an opportunity for me to experiment a bit uh, try out some new things and also just to push myself creatively and in the end uh, I'm pretty happy with how these new versions turned out here I wanted to show you a quick glimpse at my process I typically start out the same way uh, with a very rough and general shape uh, at this stage I only have a loose idea of what I want uh, from there, I'm working out the design as I make my cuts. And for the cuts themselves, I'm using a hot wire cutter. Uh, in the past, I've used a utility knife, and that works also. And once I'm happy with my basic shape, I start the process of refining and smoothing out all the surfaces. Uh, I like to let the cuts I made earlier dictate the final look of the piece, because it'll require less work for me and just less sanding overall. And for the sanding itself, I'm using my files as well as sandpaper. And here it is mostly sanded. For the look of the piece, I was inspired by images of the inside of Unicron from the classic Transformers movie from my childhood. It had a lot of curves and organic shapes to it, and so I wanted to recreate that look. And here's a piece again after some finishing touches, as well as uh, a layer of filler. Uh, this is to hide some of the seam lines that were created when I glued the pieces of foam together. And with that, I'm ready for paint. For the base paint, I went with a dark gray. And I also wanted to uh, quickly show you uh, this other piece that I made. For this, I decided to experiment a little and I tried playing around with magnets. So these pieces can actually be separated and are just held together by really strong magnets. And here we have the finished pieces. For the top layer of paint, I went with a metallic blue. Uh, again, kind of inspired by the movie. And I added a magnet here, uh, and what this does is that it'll prevent the figure that I plan on putting on the base from sliding off. And it's just a metal bolt covered with cloth tape uh, so that it doesn't scratch the paint of the figure. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, these final pieces. Uh, I constantly want to push myself uh, so I'm not doing the same things over and over again. And just looking back at where I started, uh, I think I've come a long way. And so I'm looking forward to what I can come up with next. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Till next time.